Hey guys, Tracy, welcome to episode 59 of the RLE series. In this episode, we'll take a trip to Brazil to look at their TV station, their primary one. Way to Globo. They were founded in 1965, but they weren't the first TV station until 1980 when Rated Tupi went defunct. They're famous for their Rainbow Globe Eye logo. We have 26 logos, I think? Their first one is called the Canal. Oh, I don't know the nickname. Anyway, it was used since 19. Um, and only used in 1965. I think this was the only one to be used for less than a year. Only being used in that year. Their next logo is called the Canal 2 logo, used from 1965 to 1966. Canal 2, cada vez mais perto de você. There wasn't a statement of what Globo used at the time. Their next logo is called the Scary Four, used from 1966 to 1969. This was the first appearance of the Globe. Their next logo is called the Globe, seen from 1969 to 1975. I don't know if this also scared some people. Their next logo is called Globe and Circles, used from 1970 to 1975. The circles look like the Audi logo. Their next logo is called The Four and the Globe, seen in 1975. That symbol looks more like a 1 than a 4. Their next logo is called the I, used from 1975 to 1980. This was the introduction of their famous I logo, though people called it Glow instead of an I, but it looks like one to me. Their next logo is called the Scanimated Eye, used from 1979 to 1981. Scanimation is cool, so I like this logo. Their next logo is called the Eye and the 15, used in 1980. I got was the first appearance of the rainbow color scheme. Their next logo is called CGI with a Globo, used from 1980 to 1983. This has the rainbow color scheme, but still has the silver eye. Their next logo is called the CGI I2, used from 1983 to 1986. This one also has a rainbow color scheme, but still has a silver eye logo like the previous. Their next logo is called the Rainbow 20, used from 1984 to 1986. How does this use? 1984 to 1986 if it's all the way to the 20th anniversary in IT5. The next logo introduced the signature rainbow TV tube for the eye. I thought the rainbow tube used from 1986 to 1992. Like I said, this introduced the familiar rainbow TV tube. Their next logo is used for the 25th anniversary. I caught the eye in the 25 used from 1989 to 1991. Even for 25th anniversary? Let's play the logo anyway. This logo is for 25th anniversary.
first wave from 1990, but how is this used from 1990 to 1991? Their next logo is called the Glassy Eye, used from 1992 to 1995. Is this a reflection, or is this glass? The next logo is called the Globe Inside the Eye, used from 1995 to 2000. This is the first time that we actually see a globe of the Earth. Their next logo is called the Brazilian Landscape, used from 2000 to 2005. Despite the name I just gave it, the video I have shows the Earth globe, not a Brazilian landscape, but the next one does. I call it Brazilian Landscape 2, used from 2005 to 2007. This one uses the same concept as the previous, so this concept was used from 2000 to 2007. Their next logo is the introduction of the familiar bleep bleep sound. I call it the bleep bleep, used from 2007 to 2008. This is the introduction of the sound that goes like bleep bleep, which sounds more like a telephone ringing. The next items was used from 2008 to 2014. Here they are. <laughs> And 8 2014 ends, I say the 2012 to 2013 one is my favorite because of the mesmerizing pattern. The last logo under the Red Global Branding is called The Last of the Rainbow TV Tube, used from 2014 to 2021. <laughs> This is the last logo under the Reddit Globo branding. As of this year, they rebranded to TV Globo. The logo they had for this rebrand was this. I call it the Rainbow Eye, used since 2021. Why'd you have to get rid of the familiar Rainbow TV tube? This is it. See you on episode 60, the season 6 premiere. Oh, and I forgot to say that this episode was the season 5 finale. Anyways, goodbye. See you on episode 60. <laughs> <laughs>